Hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. VeChain haven't covered for a few days, so I think it's time for an update. Last video, we took a look at this bearish flag here, this ascending wedge within this channel. And um, yeah, this eventually broke out to the downside as descend, no, sorry, as ascending wedges normally do. It is of course never guaranteed, but you can call this here a bearish flag where we came down with this flagpole, had our ascending wedge within this channel, by the way, and that eventually then broke to the downside. The first target of a wedge is always the beginning of the wedge. So that would have been here 5.7 cents. Eventually it came down to 5.5. I think that was pretty good. Now we then came down, found support here at this target area again. And if you've been watching me for a while, you will know that this is a highly, highly relevant support level. This is the target area in which um, I told you already in November that with the highest likelihood VeChain would get into this area, into this target area. That was when VeChain was around uh, 18 to 20 cents. Nobody believed it. Yeah, I didn't even myself really believe it, but I just have to go by the rules of Elliott Wave method. And um, yeah, in the end, it did actually go there, found support, came out of it, found support again, did get a bit deeper into it. And now we've come out again and we're touching it again currently making a higher low yeah and we are currently finding support let's take a look if we just draw the um, Fibonacci retracement levels of just oops that one last move let's take a look at that here the Fibonacci levels from the let's draw them from the low to the high so I just need to pick the, the actual swing low here so, and you can see that we found pretty much support at the 78.6% FIB level of that one move that was at 5.4 cents. So again, the Fibonacci levels have provided support here and we're now on our way again to the 6.2 cent level, which is the 61.8% FIB level. So that will be resistance now. We would need to get above that to move up higher maybe to the next FIB level then at the 6.7 cent level. Um, at the moment, VeChain has not yet broken the downtrend. Well, it did break out of this descending channel, but what is so important to break a downtrend is first of all, to make a higher high. When would VeChain make a higher high? Only above 6.3, 6.4 cents actually. Only above 6.4 cents, that is this level here, that swing high from the 13th and 14th of April. VeChain needs to move above to break the downtrend. So this is a very important resistance level that would need to be broken. And it is currently on its way to it. The second important aspect of breaking a downtrend is a higher low. So what would be ideal, and that is a potential trade setup, is to move above this 6.4 cent level let it run, let it run, be patient, wait for the pullback. And here, look then maybe on the lower time frame for a possible trade entry, maybe on the one hour chart, and that could then go up higher and um, maybe could even go all the way to the, whoops, could go all the way to the beginning of that channel. So here to that 8.9 or 9 cent level, this was here where you've got this, um, is it the 200 day moving average that's currently coming down? Yes. So I think actually this will probably be the major or the main resistance if VeChain manages to break above this 6.3, 6.4 cent level where we had resistance here at 6.4 cents support. Here we had support. So it is quite a relevant level. I'm sure when I look back here, yeah, we had here an area of trade as well. Here support, it is quite a relevant level. And um, if it breaks above that level, manages to do the retest, that might be a trade entry point. Again, not telling you to do it. I'm only telling you possible um, ideas, you know, how it could be traded, what, what are the levels that I would be watching out for. And then of course, with the stop loss, very important, especially here in the current environment, which is very, very uncertain. There's a lot of volatility currently in the market. Um, the, the target would then be the 200 day moving average that would be here around 8.6 cents. I think a lot of buying power would, at the moment from what I can see now, I think a lot of buying power will probably disappear 
to when we get closer to the 200 day moving average because it is such a relevant resistance level and here previously just on the 31st of March we had resistance here as well. So again until we move above that 6.3 6.4 cent level I don't think the downtrend is broken even though we moved out of the channel um, but even here we haven't retested it yeah we haven't retested that channel because what you want to do you want to if you break out ideally you want to get a retest done as well just to make sure um, but even more relevant I find the horizontal support and resistance levels now yes we have found some nice um, support here at the target area but personally what I think and the way the price has come down here I think we are still going to see lower lows so I see that here currently as a bit of a, a correction of that downtrend at least I would go with that until um, v chain is breaking above 6.4 cents and then obviously I would reconsider my views but even then um, if it makes a lower high compared to this whole move here this larger wave even then you know I, I, even that downtrend would not be broken until we move above this high which is at again 8.9 to 9 cents and that is currently here my view about um, on v chain yeah this is a very important level that we need to get to. We need to see, see some nice green candles here now. So we have a short term uptrend. And again, the trend is your friend, but this is only here really a short term uptrend. We really need to move above this 6.4 cent level. It is so important. Okay, that is my view about VeChain. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.